Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm getting ready to give you a tour of Lower Broadway, which is one of the most famous streets in downtown Nashville, also known as the Honky Tonk Highway. And I'm inviting you to tag along with me today. So we are here at the Honky Tonk Highway in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the Honky Tonks as well as restaurants that exist down here. So right here, first place that we see is a bar or a honky tonk, I should say. And a honky tonk for those who are not from the Nashville area is simply a venue that plays exclusively country music and has country music live bands. So Rippy's is one of those. Now these windows that you see here do open up later on in the day it's currently like 7 30 in the morning so that's why it's a little quiet here on the streets of nashville but they will come alive today i can assure you of that because there's a melon mushroom by the way melon mushroom pizza it's some good pizza very unique pizza but the reason why i can assure you that it's going to come alive today is if you see all these tents ahead it is cma fest week country music association festival week which is one of the largest festivals in town I still call it fanfare years ago back in 1998 i'll get to that story here in a second but first there's that ernest tub record shop sadly the ernest tub record shop is now permanently closed and the reason being is most people are buying digital music nowadays not a whole lot of people are still buying cds and obviously cassette tapes or have been out the window for a while as well as eight tracks and Records are starting to make a comeback, but um, not enough to keep the record store open. So kind of sad to see the Ernest Tubb record shop go, as that is a piece of history here in downtown Nashville. Here is Nudie's Honky Tonk. But I'm going to go back to that story about the fanfare. So um, back in 1998, it's a rooftop bar there too. Back in 1998, I actually attended fanfare at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. And what Fanfare and also CM CMA Fest is about is during the day, you have a lot of meet and greets with some of your favorite country music singers. And then in the evening, they perform. And really all throughout the day they perform, but the larger artists and stars perform typically in the evening at the big stage downtown. I'm gonna wait on this crosswalk here as we go across. But I will say that it used to be called Fanfare back in 1998, and then I came back again in 2001, and it was called the CMA Fest, and it was brought downtown. Uh, so it's a little bit different nowadays, but still a lot of fun, a lot of music, and it has really grown as it's become... Um, I think I... There we go. Right here is Honky Tonk Central. And right down this way, right down here, is the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Right there in that building where it looks like the windows are piano keys. All kinds of stages down here. All kinds of stages. They're setting up for a pretty exciting day today. Carrie Underwood took the stage over at uh, where the Titans play. Nissan Stadium just last night. I think Dirk Bentley is going to play this evening. But again, it's called CMA Fest nowadays. I still call it Fanfare. And uh, back in 1998, and even in 2001, um, there used to be meet and greets in the Nashville Convention Center. There's Jason Aldean's rooftop bar. One of these are coming to Gatlinburg. It's pretty neat. But, uh, it's a cool opportunity to meet your favorite stars and, and also have the opportunity to see them perform live. And, and you're seeing a whole conglomerate of a, a bunch of different stars perform. It's not just, you know, three or four. We're talking about usually about a dozen each evening. And then throughout the day, there's a bunch of side stages, which I'm going to show you here throughout this tour. But a really cool experience, a really cool festival. It's four days, it's always in June. 
this year it hasn't been too hot. Usually it's it's pretty warm this time of the year. Here's Luke Bryan's 32 grill. 32 bridge, excuse me. Luke Bryan's 32 bridge. I'm gonna get across here before the crosswalk stops. boot store. Everyone's got to get their boots in Nashville and cowboy hats. Typically you can tell that someone is a tourist walking down this street when they're in their get up with cowboy boots and cowboy hats. Not always. Some people are just trying to fit in with the crowd but I think that the stereotype is that everybody in Nashville wears a cowboy hat and cowboy boots <laughs> and typically those are tourists who come here. Bootleggers in. And of course, Nashville is known for hot chicken. So there is Mimi's hot chicken, Nashville hot chicken. There's some bowling and rooftop dancing. And down this way, we have the Riverfront Stage, which is a, probably the second largest stage next to Nissan Stadium. Those are some really nice. Chevy Silverados. And here's some people in line, ready to get in to watch that first concert this morning. We're gonna hop across the street to the Hard Rock Cafe. It's a really cool spinning Les Paul right there. So here we go on the other side of Broadway and maybe we'll get a better view at some of those rooftop bars that we passed a second ago and we didn't have a really good vantage point of viewing. Downtown is just always changing here in Nashville and there's always lots and lots of progress taking place. I'm gonna take you down 2nd Avenue just briefly. Um, one of my personal favorite streets here in Nashville just because there's a lot of good restaurants and there is a saloon that I used to play at years ago, right down here. I used to play guitar down here. At least three or four times I play guitar on this stage at the Wild Horse Saloon. And it is a three-story saloon. There is the wild horse. And again, it's about 7.40, 7.45 in the morning right now. So they are closed. So it is a three-story bar. There used to be a George Jones, if you can hear me. There used to be a George Jones Museum that was down this way. It is closed down. And also, Chicken Guy, Guy Fieri's Chicken Guy is right down here as well. I just can't get to the other side of the street as they have them blocked off right now. We're back here on Broadway. Here's John Rich from the band Big and Rich's Redneck Riviera. Over here is a better vantage point of some of those rooftop bars if you're looking to have a lot of fun nashville is certainly the city to do so because there is so much to do so much to see lots and lots of live music all of these honky tonks have live music cool historical buildings there we go here's old red which is blake shelton's bar Here is what everybody in Nashville calls the Batman building because of the Batman ears. Or the two antennas that resemble Batman ears, I should say.
Wanna Bees Karaoke Bar. If you can see that behind that yellow tent right there. Lots of karaoke bars. There's lots of side streets that have karaoke bars as well. Here is Boot Country. And here is Whiskey Bent Saloon, which if I'm not mistaken, that is Dirk's Bentley's bar. Savannah Candy Kitchen. Oh, Randall Lambert's bar, here we go. Casa Rosa Cantina. Of course, here's Miranda Lambert. So yeah, Miranda Lambert's Cantina, Tex-Mex. Savannah's Candy Kitchen, as I had mentioned. It's a big old ice cream cone in there. <laughs> and right down the way here we have Valentine. It's really cool. Spinning Mad Horse Bronco. Oh, that is really cool. Look at that. Johnny Cash, Bo Cephas, Hank Williams Jr., Willie Nelson. Really neat. There is the tin roof. There's also one of these in Gatlinburg, and there's a couple other. Uh, there's another one here in Nashville. Um, I've never been to this tin roof, but I've been to another one right near Music Row. That's another great tour I, I could give you guys at some point if you're interested. It's a tour of Music Row, where all the publishing companies and recording studios record companies are located it's all within a very dense area with just a couple of square miles and they call it music row if you're familiar with it there's another boot barn boy jimmy buffett <laughs> he is capitalizing in every city we go to nowadays there we go jimmy buffett's margaritaville right here in downtown nashville and over here another front view of Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Oh, there's an even better sign right there. So I was wrong about that last honky-tonk being Dirks Bentley's honky-tonk. This one right here, Whiskey Row, is actually the one that belongs to Dirks Bentley. There's the Lucky Saloon, I'm not gonna say that last word because I like for <laughs> my YouTube analytics to not go down, but that is the Lucky Saloon. Big time boots. Man, there's a lot of boot companies here. That's a pretty cool uh, storefront there. And then right here we have the stage. And Jack's Barbecue. Fun little fact, when Jennifer and I got married during our rehearsal night, we catered from this exact Jack's Barbecue right here in downtown Nashville. So that was the meal we had during our wedding rehearsal. It's Jack's Barbecue. And right here is Robert's Western World. Home of Honky Tonk Heaven. And again, it's kind of hard to see because the, the windows aren't open yet, but all of these Honky Tonks have drums, music, and they're just ready to play as soon as their crowd wakes up each morning. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this one here because this one's got a real cool story. This is called Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. It's one of the more famous Honky Tonks uh, many celebrities have gotten their start here, including Patsy Cline, Willie Nelson, and many others. Um, if you're familiar with uh, a 90s country music star, Terry Clark, she was actually discovered right here, played here on a regular basis. And Tootsie, the lady who owned Tootsie's Orchid Lounge years ago, had someone paint the building. Didn't specify what color it was going to be, and it turned out purple. And when the Honky Tonk turned out to be purple, she renamed this Honky Tonk from Tootsie's to Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. And I'm gonna show you the back alley behind Tootsie's Orchid Lounge 
a lot of celebrities used to play at the Grand Ole Opry, which used to be at the Ryman Auditorium, if I got my years correct. I believe that was from 1943 to 1974. 1974 is the year that the Grand Ole Opry went to Gavin Pike and Briley Parkway area. It's another great view of downtown. What I was gonna say is, during this time that the Grand Ole Opry was at the Ryman Auditorium, a lot of celebrities, including Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash and others, they would play right here at the Ryman Auditorium. And in between showtime, they would go right back to the alley, back and forth to Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. So there is the Ryman Auditorium. And then right back here is that famous Tootsie's Alley. And so those celebrities would go back and forth from performing at the Ryman to going over here and getting their food and drink at Tootsie's right there in that alley. And right here, the former home of the Grand Ole Opry. Again, from 1943 until 1974. And right here on Fifth Avenue, we have Poncho and Lefty's Cantina. Hopefully you can hear me over that generator. It's a little loud right now, so I hope that you can hear me, but here is one of the many CMA Fest stages that are set up for country music artists to play on here this afternoon. And a little fun fact that when I was in college, I held many jobs. Uh, I had always held usually two jobs at least simultaneously at the same time. But one of the jobs that I had was I valley parked cars. And I valley parked cars at the airport primarily, about a year and a half in the airport. But for another half a year, I parked at Vanderbilt Hospital as well as right here at this Hilton Hotel. I had a lot of cool country music singers, titans, predators. Got to drive the vehicle, so that was a pretty fun and cool experience to say the least. Looks like over here they're gonna have the Bachelorette's meet and greet. Not really into that show, but it's pretty cool for those who may enjoy that show. This is the Nashville Skirmer Horn Center, it's the Symphony Center here in Nashville. And here in Nashville, there's so much attention to detail here in Music City. Look at these music notes that are right here at a simple bus stop. So I'm now gonna show you guys what's known as the Assembly Food Hall. That was downtown Broadway here in Nashville, Tennessee, also known as the Honky Tonk Highway. I hope that you join me on the next episode as we're going to visit the Assembly Food Hall here in Nashville. Until then, we'll see you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday.